I'm here again to address the open seals on the Actonville machines. I did the right thing, um, my civic duty by volunteering to be an election worker. And I did the right thing by coming forward with evidence about the broken plastic seals. And I did the right thing by testifying in front of the assemblies last week. And I did the right thing by coming in and having my testimony written down on Saturday. And I took an oath at election training and another oath on election day. And now my honesty and integrity has been questioned publicly by Jacqueline Duke. As a result of this, it's been suggested online that I'm a shill pushing forward a partisan agenda, or worse, tampering with the AccuVote machines. I assure you I'm nothing more than a stay-at-home mom. I'm a veteran. I serve my country. And I volunteer. I just want to make my community a better place for my children and my fellow Alaskans. Those plastic seals are placed on the AccuVote machines as our only guarantee that there's been no tampering with those cards. In our training manuals, this one here, it states, make sure all the small silver, it says make sure the small silver bar covering the memory card on the front of the AccuVote unit is sealed and the seal is not broken. That's a direct, that's a quote right out of this book on page seven. It doesn't say what to do if you find a broken seal. At training, when asked, Jacqueline Duke, Jacqueline Duke's instructions about the broken seals seem to show little regard for the integrity of the AccuVo machines. We rely on those seals so that we don't have to rely on the word of election officials, such as Jacqueline Duke. Those seals are the only guarantee we have that the election workers from the absolute top to the poll workers at the bottom don't tamper with those cards. To certify this election without resolving the issue of those seals leaves the public with no confidence in the integrity of this election. The broken seals are evidence that cannot be ignored.